Oh, thank you so much. I've absolutely um, enjoyed being here. I love the job that I do and being able to get, uh, make a difference. Um, I thought I'd start with Kaz and uh, Alana's uh, um, queries in relation to uh, um, the Northern Roads. And um, Kaz, I've got to apologise, obviously, um, the briefing about the um, Northern Roads package um, that was funded in this year's budget um, hasn't sort of got... Oh, where are you, Kaz? Where have you gone? Um, we, you mentioned Epping Road. I can tell you and there's a, um, a flyer here about Bridging Road. And part of the um, suburban roads package that's on the back of that, um, there's um, uh, the $4 billion for the suburban road uh, package, and we've actually got um, a dedicated one that's for northern uh, for northern metropolitan roads, which includes Epping Road to Craigie Burn Road. It includes Childs Road to Mill Park, uh, Mill Park Sunbury Road, Sunbury, Bridging Road, Doreen, and. Uh, Craigie Burn Road, Craigie Burn, Craigie Burn Road West, I should say, um, Fitzsimmons Lane and Templestowe, and then um, the second part of Yang Yang Road, Yarrabat, um, from the stage one that we're doing, will be done together um, with Bridging Road. So they've already been funded. It's not subject to an election commitment or anything like that. So, and I think um, within that, and on Alana's point, um, there's no reason why um, um, a bus priority can't be built into those and certainly I think that that's very important for areas like Alert and Epping North. Um, I'm quite uh, flummoxed that uh, I looked at Matthew Guy's uh, website in the lead up to tonight and I can tell you in four years there's not been one mention of Whittlesey. So do not fall for it again. Um, the candidate for Yang Yang actually said they've got a plan. They do not have a plan for public transport in, uh, in, uh, in this area. Um, her own material has said, has talked about housing affordability, that is referring back to the uh, um, uh, proposal that came up from, uh, from uh, David Davis and from Matthew Guy only a couple of months ago that said they were going to squeeze an extra 290,000 households into Melbourne and now they're expecting us expecting us to believe they've done a backflip and they want it and they want to move people to the regions. Nothing could be further from the truth. And uh, the dishonesty and the lack of clarity in terms of what the Liberal Party have come here tonight, um, people should see absolutely through it. Um, to have a candidate that's going around Maryland's plan to fix local congestion uh, continue widening Yang Yang Road and Plenty Roads, widen Bridging Road Murder. And so those roads have already been funded. So she, as she's saying, we're just not going to cut what you've done. Um, the Diamond Creek Railway Crossing removal, which that shadow minister confirmed that is not funded. That is an absolute lie and should not be put in writing. And the other thing, major intersection upgrades. Where are they? No one's made that presentation tonight. There's been no plan presented by the Liberal Party. And I urge people to read this about what we've delivered, what they cut, and what we will deliver next time. I thank you for your time.